Five. And two gives a total of seven, which unfortunately is not enough to win me a prize. Have you ever managed to win one of the big prizes on the Laughing Clowns? I haven't. I've tried many times, but what I do know is that you can use the ping pong balls from the Laughing Clowns or from your own table tennis game to make a rocking clown of your own. Here's what you do. First of all, take one ping pong ball and add a few other things to the table or bench where you're working. One of them must be a wire coat hanger. You'll also need a lump of plasticine. You'll need two pieces of cardboard, one rectangular, about the size of your hand, and another one, a little fan shape like so. Then you start working with the tools, and there are two of them that you'll need, a pair of pliers and a pair of scissors. Here's what you do. You start by cutting out that piece of rectangular cardboard and rolling it into a cylinder. When you've done that, you stick it together, either with sticky tape or glue, and that becomes the body of the clown. If you like, you can decorate it. I've already done so with another cylinder by simply drawing in buttons and a bow tie and trousers and arms and so on. That's the body of the clown. Can you guess what the little fan-shaped piece will become? You've probably guessed it already. You fold it around into a little cone like that. Once again, piece of sticky tape or glue, and you have a clown's hat. And I've done that already as well. And then the ping pong ball, you guessed it, becomes the clown's face. Now take some coloured pens and draw in eyes, nose, ears, anything else you like, and you'll end up with something like this. There it is, clown's face. Now to put all the bits and pieces together, you can use uh, reusable adhesive or you can use sticky tape or glue or anything you like. There we are, the head is on the body and now the hat is on the head. So our clown is ready to start rocking, but he doesn't have anything yet to rock with. That's where the coat hanger comes in. Use the pliers to snip off the straight piece at the bottom of the coat hanger. I've already started that, so I can just break that away and then see if you can find the handle of a broomstick. And wind one end of the wire around that about one and a half turns, like that. You'll find that the broomstick is about the right size to give you a little curve like that, which is absolutely vital to the working of the rocking clown. Now that short end pokes downwards. That's going to actually balance on the edge of the table. The long end curves around like this so that it sits underneath the table. Now you'll need to fiddle around with that for a while until you get it adjusted correctly. I've already done that with another piece of coat hanger wire and I know that that one will give me the correct balance. There we are. Now the piece of plasticine is simply a weight to go underneath the table. It's not important to the look of the clown but it is very important to the way it rocks. There we are. And you can see that that whole thing balances on my finger and in fact it'll balance on any sort of ledge or shelf. The only thing remaining to be done is to take the clown and push it in through the coils in the wire. Now you may need to bend them out or in until it's a tight fit, but eventually you'll have your clown sitting up straight in the wire. Find a good spot on the table and uh, place that short end on the level surface. See if it stands upright, and it does pretty well. And then all you need to do is to give it a gentle push. And if you've made it accurately, the clown should rock backwards and forwards for about five minutes. I want to know. Curiosity.